Hello everyone, once again, Dan the Glass Man here, you're watching Back to Nature. I wanted to give you an update, today is uh, March uh, 19th, uh, 2017, and I wanted to show you here that we finally have some low water, or no water now on a couple of these. They ran out of water a day, a day or two ago. I believe this one ran out yesterday. This one was uh, two days ago, so on uh, St. Patrick's Day. And you can see the rest of them. Uh, they still have water, so they're still fine. Uh, these last ones will probably go very soon. And now that the plants are growing, um, they're bigger, they're taking up a lot more water. So it's a, uh, uh, these ones, they're taking up uh, less water, so they'll take up a little less time, but uh, as you can see, it's pretty much uh, about even with these here. These are the first six uh, that were grown, and then these were the other, uh, well, the other six, but there's five now. I gave one away, um, and I gave one of the bigger ones away. Um, so I went through, I looked at the, uh, the videos and the... Uh, the photos of when I transplanted these and it looks to me that it was tr that these were actually transplanted into these bottles and the bottles were built on February 24th so uh, we planted them February 5th in the uh, these containers over here and as you can see we no longer have anything going on with these um, but we start at new ones and so we have these here and we need to transplant these uh, I needed to do it last week. Uh, it just things uh, got busy and I haven't got to it yet. So maybe we'll do that today. And as you can see, there's a sprout finally growing here in the center. So that one's finally coming up. And these ones have been going for a while. Um, this system here, the water's still there in the uh, cup. But as you can see, it's on the bottom of the cup. So that probably isn't getting any more moisture. So we'll have to add some water to that today as well. Uh, this one's doing just fine and pulling up moisture still. Um, so today, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, these here. Um, we'll take the, uh, the largest ones and we're going to transplant them into, a, into some other containers. So we're going to do a couple of larger containers so you can get a two liter bottle this is your next step here so we've basically done uh, the first step was taking your tomato slice and planting them into a container like this uh, with some dirt on the bottom covering it with uh, dirt on top then watering it and allowing uh, keeping them moist and allowing them to sprout out it took uh, I believe it was February 15th um, maybe a few days before that. So February 5th we plant it, and then around February uh, 13th actually was the first day that we had sprouts show up. February 15th was when we had uh, sprouts show up in both of the containers. And then around uh, the 24th, so about a week later, is when we finally transplanted them um, as, as they were growing like this, and we pulled them out individually and put them into the containers here. So that was around the 24th. And it's now the 19th. Um, it, you know, February only has 28 days, uh, unless it's a leap year. And so this year only had 28. Um, so, you know, you can just figure that out. Uh, it's basically been at least four weeks that I didn't have to water these plants, which is amazing because usually when you have your seeds started, you have to water them every day. Uh, so right now what I'd like to do is uh, do a real quick setup here and um, that way I can actually uh, do this demonstration on how to uh, make this bottle. So just give me a second here. I'll try to set up the camera. So that way you can uh, see everything that's going on here. Okay, so we're gonna basically we're gonna take a bottle like this and then we cut it in half. And you just want to have like a good uh, a good top. You know, you can cut it directly at the label here. 
and um, you can cut it down a little bit bigger so you have a bigger area for a plant. You could also use two bottles and just basically cut the, uh, the bottom off here and then use this whole thing as a planter and put this into a whole nother container. You know, so then you could have a big container into a little planter. The thing about this is uh, when you do something like this is that it becomes top heavy, especially when the water level goes low. Um, but I will be working on some planters very soon on making paper creep and that way we can actually put these into the paper creep containers and that way it'll hold them uh, when the water level goes down. We just have to figure out a way to make a window so you can see into the side, um, which probably be really simple to, to do. Um, so this uh, container has already been cut. As you can see, I just cut it at that level um, there. Uh, so I could flip it over. I've used a some type of a um, it's kind of like not really silk, maybe rayon. I don't know. It's some kind of poly material, but I do believe that it will wick up. Still, I've used them before, so it should work. The wick reaches the bottom, and it comes up about an inch into there or so. So then we'll take the uh, we've got some compost here. Uh, and so let's uh, try to turn this here for a second. And what we're going to do, this is a, a lot finer of, of compost than what we've used before. And so we'll just take a little bit. We'll make sure of that, that it gets around the, uh, the wick. And I do want to uh, try to make sure that the wick stays centered there. So we'll just pull it up there. And then uh, we'll just add more of this uh, compost here and um, as you can see there's not any uh, big wood chunks as before this compost is a lot more finer more broken up and uh, there's a couple couple little rocks and things so just we'll go through and we'll kind of make sure we don't get any any really big chunks or rocks or anything like that and then at this point, uh, we'll fill it up to about there. And then we'll take one of our plants here and we'll get our the largest one. And uh, I'll, grab a, I'll grab this one here. And so what I'm going to do is I squeeze the sides a little bit like this. And also, I take the, uh, the cap off, and I pull the, uh, the wick up through the cap, and hopefully you can see this here. And, oh, well, there, the, uh, it just basically came out. So that's now still reusable. And uh, so that's ready to go for another, another bottle. We'll just put this to the side. And then that way I can put my finger into the, the center here. And before I do this, uh, there's a couple little baby plants here. I think these are a uh, lamb's quarter. And so we'll just pull those out and put them into the compost. That way we don't have to worry about those. There's a little chunk of a leaf in here, so we'll put that into the compost there. And so, um, as you can see, we're transplanting this because you can see the soil, uh, or the roots coming through the soil here on the side. So it's pretty much ready to go. So we'll push our finger through so you can get the whole entire root, root clump like that. And then you flip it over. I normally put the plant in between my middle finger and my ring finger like this. And then when you flip it over, I'll do this over the compost. I'll make sure it don't make a big old mess. And then uh, we have this here. I'm just gonna set this here for now in the planter. And we're going to take our plant, our new plant here, and we're just going to set this, uh, the tomato plant, directly in the center. I'm going to open up a little space here. I'm trying to do this all <laughs> kind of one-handedly. And then I'll just uh, flip this over, and we'll put that directly into the, uh, the plant there, and we'll add some more soil going around. And 
just go around the, the sides here and fill it up in. Hopefully you can see this still. And now this, so we've uh, we've gone from taking the, the slice of tomato, that's the first step, then we've transplanted it into the bottle, that's the second step, and now um, we're over a month from the, the beginning uh, part of, of it, and we're now transplanting to this step here. At this point, um, and we'll, we'll fill this up with water, let's see if I have enough water in my container here. I have to fill it up some more. Uh, but that way then, at least we'll have some weight on the bottom of this. So then it's not top heavy. So there's a little bit of water there, but that will help it so it won't fall over. And then there you go. And I'm doing this in my bedroom. This is windowsill gardening here. And as you can see, this plant, so it's got a little bit of water. I can add a little bit more so then it reaches the, uh, the cap there. But pretty much the wick is in there and it will absorb the water. So we'll give it a day or two and it, you'll be able to see the moisture reach the top here. And this plant uh, is doing really well, very healthy, as you can see. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. So then uh, this, is, um, this will be the third step. So after planting and then transplanting into the bottles here. And you have to be careful with pulling them out. And sometimes, as you can see, this one has uh, two tomatoes in it. And this one has uh, three, actually. And so when I uh, transplant these, I'm going to try to separate those and separate the root balls. So I'll show you how to do that as well and being real careful and gentle. Um, and then this one, we'll just uh, add some more water. Um, we'll transplant a couple more of these. I don't have very many larger bottles. I'm not a uh, soda drinker, so I don't have a lot of two liter bottles around. Um, and the water bottles I just get from a lot of events that I work at and stuff. Uh, so uh, this is uh, pretty much um, how you get it set up um, until after this step, you basically let it uh, grow until the roots uh, start reaching out to the, the end of, uh, of the, the edge of the bottle here. And then we'll go to the next step, which is basically transplanting it into a three gallon system inside of a five gallon system. Or you can also use a five gallon inside of a five gallon, but for a tomato plant, you only need about three gallons of soil. Um, so we'll uh, show you how to put a three gallon system inside of a five gallon system, which allows a lot of space in the bottom for the water reservoir and a lot of uh, soil area on top. Once again, this is Dan the Glass Man. And this is transplanting into a two liter bottle system. You're watching Back to Nature. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe.